Broadcasting from Studio 300, you're watching Holly Flavor. Welcome to this week's edition of Poly Playbook. I'm Allison Edmonds, and this week we will recap and preview men's and women's basketball. And also, we will be visited by Ariana Elegato at the desk. The Cal Poly men's basketball team visited the Chicago Bulls practice facility over their winter road trip. The Advocates Center, which opened before the 2014-2015 NBA season, is a new facility across from the United Center where the Bulls play their home games. The Mustangs have the opportunity to practice at the facility before taking on IPFW, a game which they went on to win 71-57. The Mustangs finished their seven-game road trip in Hawaii on Wednesday. The game went into overtime, and with only seven seconds left to play, Reese Morgan came in with a three-pointer to bring home a win against the Big Island. Next up is the UC Santa Barbara rivalry game at home. The Gauchos are currently six and seven. Just in the last game of the year here, so that's what a true rivalry is. A rivalry is any team can beat anybody, regardless of the venue, regardless of the stakes, and regardless of the records. The Gauchos will be here for tip-off Saturday at Ma Athletic Center at 7 p.m. The wrestling team will open the new year tonight against Wyoming. The Mustangs are looking for their first win of the season against the Cowboys. Then after a quick turnaround, Cal Poly will also host Brown tomorrow afternoon at 1 p.m. at Mott Athletic Center. Wyoming is coached by Mark Branch, a four-time NCAA American. While Brown has a nationally ranked wrestler in Bernstein, the Mustangs will have their work cut out for them this weekend as they try to get a mark in the winning column. The Cal Poly women's basketball team defeated the University of Hawaii in their first Big West Conference game of the season. The final score was 70 to 65, and the Mustangs came out on top to start off their Big West Conference play with a win. Hawaii was a tough matchup for Cal Poly, and so the team had to be on their toes for the whole 40 minutes of play. Hawaii is a great team. They're one of the teams that uh, the NCAA is looking at for postseason. So for us to get a win here at home against a really quality team, I thought was really impressive. Uh, we did it with a fine job taking care of the basketball and trying to be on the rebounding mission. The Cal Poly women's basketball team has a 1-0 and record to start off Big West Conference play as they go into Saturday's game against UCSB. Less than a year after making the jump from Cal Poly to the professional game in Sweden, former Mustang winger Ariel Lassiter will be returning to the U.S. after signing with the L.A. Galaxy. As a freshman for the Mustangs in the 2013 season, he earned Big West Conference all-team, all-freshman team praise after finishing the season with 14 points. He will begin in the reserve squad, L.A. Galaxy 2, who will open their 2015 season in March. The Cal Poly women's basketball team is set to play UC Santa Barbara in Santa Barbara on Saturday afternoon. Cal Poly is coming off with their win against Hawaii at home and are hoping to pick up a win and earn a 2-0 record in Big West Conference play. Santa Barbara, however, is opening up their Big West Conference schedule against Cal Poly on Saturday. Of course, getting that win, staying undefeated 2015 and um, just winning this conference um, I think for me, I think communicating as a team and playing together as a team the whole entire 40 minutes, playing hard. Tip-off is Saturday afternoon at 2 p.m. in Santa Barbara. And now we're going to talk to Ariana Elegato from the women's basketball team. Hi, Ariana. How are you? Hi, I'm great. So, first off, um, Last night, you beat Hawaii in your first Big West Conference game. How did that feel? What do you think the team did well last night? Kind of elaborate on that. Well, that was a huge win, uh, getting our first conference win at home against Hawaii, which is a great team. Uh, was really big for us. You know, we had a tough preseason um, schedule, and you know, we lost a couple games there, maybe four in a row. But um, you know, just coming back and winning that first home game just really gave us uh, the momentum. I feel like our team is clicking right away. 
Um, I thought we did really good at, you know, picking each other up. You know, some plays we did, we had, you know, bad attitude, but, you know, everyone stuck together for 40 minutes and we really played our hearts out. Um, what do you do as a role of graduate assistant? I know you do that for the team. What exactly does that entail? Yeah, so I'm a student assistant for the Cal Poly women's basketball team. And, you know, I'm in charge of, you know, the marketing plan, uh, financial plan. I sometimes, you know, book the hotel rooms, you know, call for our flights, um, you know, gather um, different ideas for our Cal Poly women's basketball uh, games. So, you know, last night we had a wideout game, so I was in charge of, you know, trying to get as many people people to the game, you know, spread the word out about White Out. So I'm just really in charge of um, helping out, you know, the marketing stuff. Awesome. Um, so I know a big question, I'm sure you get asked a lot, but what made you decide to come back to Cal Poly and finish out your fourth year of eligibility? Yeah, well, I graduated in June and, you know, I never really thought of coming back until I probably ran into like hundreds of people asking me about basketball okay. after I graduated. And, you know, at, after, you know, getting to ask that question like a million times, I, you know, always thought about it in the back of my head. And so after getting um, accepted to my master program, I thought it was meant to be. So I actually wanted to come back. I knew I was going to miss it. And, you know, I just told everyone I was going to come back. And I'm actually loving it right now. Awesome. And um, what is your major? What do you do? I'm a sport management major in the RPTA uh, department. Very cool. Do you have any career plans with that? Like, what do you plan on doing with it? Well, I plan to work with a professional team, maybe in the front office, either is uh, marketing or fan relations, community service, anything with a fan experience. I think that's really fun. So I hope to do that. That's awesome. And I hear you had an internship with LA Sparks this past summer. How was that for you? What was that experience That like? was an awesome experience. Yeah. I was a game operations intern. And, you know, I got to uh, work with a DJ, you know, wearing a headset and, you know, talking to numerous people on the court. I was in charge of what happens during timeouts and during halftime, you know, gathering different fans on the court, playing games. So that, was, that fan experience was really fun to me. And it was a really good experience. That's very cool. Um, what is it like to go from being a part of the big three, quote unquote, with Molly and Janae, and now having to take on the responsibilities and being one of the most experienced players on your team? What, what is that like? Well, at first, like coming into this, I thought it was going to be really hard without my other two, you know, leaders. But, you know, the team has been really great. You know, we have other people stepping up as leaders, so that kind of gets more, less pressure off my shoulders. And, um, you know, just leading this team, I knew coming this year was going to be a good team. So um, it wasn't that really hard to be a leader without Jone and Molly. But um, thank I'm thankful for the coaches helping me out too, being a leader. Okay. Um, another basketball related thing. What is it like to be moving up in Big West history for most three pointers all time? How does how is that for you on your end? I think that's crazy. I mean, uh, coming into Cloud Poly, I never really thought about personal accomplishments. Mm -hmm. You know, I just wanted to have fun and, you know, bring in a first championship to Cal Poly. So I never really thought about myself. But I mean, actually hearing that, uh, I'm super blessed. Um, I thank my coaches for, you know, having confidence in me and my teammates for, you know, having confidence in me, passing the ball, rebounding, you know. Uh, there's a lot of little things that come into this personal accomplishment. So I got to give props to my coaches and my team but that's a blessing, so thank you. Do you have any personal goals to achieve in this, this year, last season? Like, is there anything you're trying to accomplish, hopefully, in the next couple months? Personal accomplishments? I would say maybe a Big West Player of the Year, but, you know, that's uh, in the back of my head. First of all, I would really want a championship, especially coming off my last year and, you know, showing the um, underclassmen what it takes to win. So uh, winning that Big West championship as a team would probably be my personal uh, goal. Very cool. And lastly, what do you hope the team will accomplish tomorrow against UCSB? Are you guys excited? Like, what's going on there? Yeah, we are really excited, especially coming off that win. Uh, this morning's practice, we had so much energy. You know, we were so confident that we have this Big West conference season, you know. And so um, coming tomorrow, knowing it's Santa Barbara, there's always going to be a rival, you know, a battle in our hearts. So uh, we just want to have fun tomorrow and, you know, just keep playing our hearts out and win that game. Very cool. Um, well, thank you very much. It was nice thank to meet you. Very you. Thank much. you for talking to us.
You can watch this show and constant broadcast coverage on mustangnews.net. See you next week.